Hey there, folks. This is Bobo the Vulture, and welcome to a, another exciting chapter of Technical Difficulties Theater. Um... As some of you may have noticed, I had uh, put up a post on my website here recently asking about people that had, had difficulty with uh, the controller assigning features, uh, the button assigning features on uh, SNES 9X. Um, downloaded a slightly more recent version, although it wasn't actually on the SNES 9X uh, website. Um, but I downloaded the latest version that looked like it still supported the same type of save states. And so far it seems to be working, so I'm knocking on wood. Yes, indeed. But uh, that did work, and then I went through and recorded another video. Had uh, my microphone muted. And it's too bad, because it actually was a very good video. Um, you missed out on it. But, um... We're going into the world of 1992, folks. It's a good time. And, you'll see we have a little bit of money, but uh, thus far, we haven't been making any. Yeah, we should probably do all that stuff. And we got an A310 on the way, that's good, right? Ha! <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. But, yeah. Like I said, I played through the uh, I, I've played through this this year already once, and I actually did uh, find some things out. But um, first and foremost, um, I did a lot of looking at uh, you know other people's let's plays, for, you know, just some general strategy game rules, what to do with Koei products in general, that sort of thing, and I think I figured it out. So what I'm going to have to do my plan of attack. I got all these guys out, and of course, well, I don't have them out right now, but um, I have these guys available to do tasks for me. So I'm going to have to start getting them doing things. Now, one of my primary problems is uh, nobody likes Iran, right? So we have poor image, which means we aren't getting very many passengers. Also, kind of worried about MetLink. They are sort of collecting huge, they're just collecting cash hand over fist. And, uh,. Right now, there's nothing these guys can do about it because they just don't have any activities that they can be doing. So I think I've figured it out. What I'm gonna have, what I'm gonna have happen here is get a Johnny Hard Life to give food to the people. I'm gonna have Smoothie McSmootherson go invade, or not go invade, but go hide and hide himself out in New York. Wait for MetLink to hire him. And then when the time is right, and we meet MetLink in a regional competition, have him defect, and hopefully bring over routes and planes with him. And then these two, I am going to have get married for no particular reason, other than it will raise their spousal support stats. So, yeah, I think if I do that, um, I will be able to turn things around. Now, actually, the thing that I need to do to turn things around that I didn't even know at the time, um, but uh, that I didn't figure out this early in the previous video, but <sighs> I didn't mean it as a cheat, but I'm going to totally use it. Now, the flight from Tehran to Cairo was not earning us any money. In fact, it was sort of starting to lose us money, I believe. So, uh, I couldn't be having that. So, I tried to close it down, thinking, I'll just open it up later, and it'll be fine. But no, what I need to do is just close the flight. One regional hub and one route will be closed. All flights above listed will be closed. Am I sure I want to close? I am sure I want to close. And, we'll get to see this. This is, this is a part of the game that we haven't done so far, because I haven't closed any routes. Oh, the sad root closing music. Look at how much money we have now. We don't have any roots flying into this region. It's true, we don't. And, as a matter of fact, I can get even more money out of this. I can return these slots. I have ten slots. I'm not going into the, I'm not going to the Mideast as a region anytime in the near future. I'm going to go ahead and give back those slots so we don't have to pay the maintenance on them. 
and I've got 77,000 or sorry, 77 million nine hundred seventy thousand dollars just from that just from that I'm not gonna bid for any more slots folks that's not what I'm gonna do right now what I am gonna do is see that route there the uh, London to Tokyo route we just got a new A310 I'm gonna put another flight on it and I'm gonna add those routes there right like that I'm gonna press select to view the competition you'll see the competition is actually starting to feel the heat from us because uh, they had their uh, their their fair level up at like 40% above and uh, now they've dropped it down to 15 so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drop it down to 10 below so we'll still have an advantage over them it's okay to change that flight as it's shown it is perfectly okay by me now then this Tehran to London flight is not very full and the profit margin is razor thin because of it because we've got a big plane flying on there the same can be said for the Athens route it's not that full it's pretty full it's not as full as it could be and uh, as a result profit margin razor thin because it's not a very long route either um, the Rome flight you'll see it's not that full either, but it's a really cheaply operated plane, so most of that flight is pure profit. This is a take-home lesson, kids. One that I have a hard time swallowing because I'm used to being able to fill those big planes. And if you can fill a plane, a big plane is always better. But if you can't fill the planes, you need to be going cheap. So I'm going to buy two A320s. I could I could buy three, but I'm only buying two. Because that's all we need right now. Not interested in any more models. I might come back and buy another one of those here in a little bit. What I might do is what I might eventually get around to doing is selling those seven sixty sevens that uh will invariably be freed up, both from the fact that I closed the Cairo flight and by the fact that I'm about to replace them on these routes. The big question is, actually, the big question is, now that I think about it, that would be a total of three 767s that I would be selling. Three 767s at 18 million apiece, so hair under 20 million apiece. Yeah along with the almost 30 we have right now. It'd be about 90 mil. It'd be a little under 90 million. Nope. That's not going to do the job, folks. I was kind of hoping that for 90 million, because not... As long as I'm doing my math right, let me double check, first of all, my fleet. If I get rid of all the 767s at 18 apiece, 18 apiece by In case you can't tell, folks, I'm terrible at math in my head. Um, but yeah, it's not going to be enough to open a route because uh, have a look at these routes. Like, say we wanted to open one in Europe. Europe right now is going to be the cheapest place that we have that we can set up one. Um, but yeah, like going to... Actually, we could almost make that. The London to Madrid is not a very good route. I mean, it's an okay route. It's not a great route. But routes of any length are going to be... Well, that's not bad, actually. Helsinki. We could open a route to Helsinki. But what I really wanted to do, which we probably won't be able to do, is get a route to... Oh here. Let me cancel out of London. Routes Southeast Asia, or routes in Southeast Asia. Like, I wanted to try and establish a route from, like, Tokyo to Hong Kong. Fifteen... No, 153 million to do that. And if we've got, you know, if, 
yeah, that's that's we're not we're not gonna be anywhere close. Not gonna be anywhere close on that, folks. Even if we sold all the seven, uh, <clears throat> yeah, the seven sixty sevens. Um, but let me think. We could probably get another two or three seven sixty sevens. So how about we? I start doing this. I start getting you into negotiations for more of those slots. Slots and slots and well, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, let me see how much it would cost to get. And you guys are probably going to think I'm mad for even thinking it. And I can't remember now whether or not I've already checked it during a let's during this let's play. But yeah, flight to New York. It's going to be too much money. We won't be able to afford that. How much is the flight to LA? 81370, huh? It's actually less than the flight to New York. We could afford to get this route. New York to LA. We could afford to get this route and I can tell you folks I'm pretty sure that we could fill flights from London to Los Angeles I'm gonna try for I'm gonna try right now for just three it'll take nine months to negotiate and I will need a plane that is capable of going 5,500 miles. Which the 767s aren't. Of course, uh, I know the A310s can. They can go 6,000 miles. Ooh. This costs a little bit more, but I like that seating capacity. You get more people on a flight. Of course, what I can do is start the route with A310s, and if it turns out that I can fill up those planes, I can always push the A310s over to the London-Tokyo um, route. This is madness, I know. What madness is this? And, once I get that set up and I put a hub there, if I decide to put a hub there, I will be able to have my cross-national interregional route that I usually that I that you've seen me go for here folks. It's a tired I mean it's a play that I it's a play that I pull every time I I go through the game here it seems like I know. I don't always do it, but in this case I think it might be it might be my savior. Honestly, competing in North America, we probably won't do as well as MetLink, but we'll be able to do well enough. And honestly, it'll force MetLink to drop their fares. It'll take a little bite out of them. I know this seems like pure madness, and it is pure madness, but I think it's a good sort of madness. I'm going to go ahead and close the quarter here. Got some MD-80s. Metlink's got some 747s. They're probably using those 747s to fly between, like... Yep, the Gulf War shows no sign of ending. Boy, I'd hate to be a Middle East airline right now. Oh! Oh! I walked right into that one, folks. Oh, silly me. That's not a bad interregional number right there. That's not a bad number for Europe, either. Southeast Asia... Okay, North America, right. Thing is, I gotta get to North America because it, oh. Hey, I'm making money! Not very much, but a little. That's some money. Some money. We're not losing cash. In a couple hundred years, I would be able to afford a plane. home base is located in the Middle East, but we don't have any flights there. We should open some new routes and capture the number one ranking there. 
Someone from Ilyushin wants to see me. You're here to offer me the deal of a lifetime, huh? For that quarter only, they're going to offer all their planes at half price. Let's order some Ilyushin planes this quarter. Now, let's take receipt of these A320s. Let's do that. Let's do that. Now look at that. We're making even more profit on that London to Tokyo route. This route, however, the profits are entirely too thin. We need to put an A320 on there. The A320 would be most of the way full this way, so let's go ahead and set that route, change it that way. Okay. And the Rome flight, I mean, you see the Rome flight, it's not even as full as this one's going to be. It doesn't sell as much, but more of what it sells is profit. Tehran to London. We're probably never going to get that flight the whole way full. So let's go ahead and put a little plane on it. It's okay to change that flight as shown. And I tell you what, folks, what I'm going to do right now is cheat. I'm actually not going to cheat. Well, I guess it depends on what you consider cheating. What I want to do is... Well, first of all, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to sell these 767s. Sorry, 767s, you seemed like a good idea at the time, but I got some serious buyer's remorse. Three of them, sell them together. That'll get me, uh, yeah, 55 grand. 84, 330. Okay. No, there's nothing else I want to sell right now. I don't have anything else to sell. But let's go over here to Ilyushin. The, qu the planes they're selling this quarter are at half price. So then. Look at that big monster. You get the IL-86 or the IL-96-300. Mm -mm. Or you get the old-fashioned IL-62. Okay. Now that actually has just enough range that we could use it for that, uh, that flight between uh, London and Los Angeles. It would be a terrible idea. I'm curious. If I bought, one, if I bought four of these... Yes. Twenty thousand two hundred and fifty a piece. That's okay. Twenty thousand two hundred. Yep. Now I'm going to go ahead and end the quarter. And the Gulf War is going to show no signs of ending. Damages will continue to mount, and oil prices will continue to skyrocket. Honolulu exists. Yep, we still have the same amount of interregional flights. We have f more passengers to Europe on smaller planes. Go figure, right? Sometimes this game is some strange and crazy mystery. Look, we're making even more. Pro we're making enough profit that we have a little pink bar there, as opposed to just red. Airbus A340 had a successful maiden flight. A. Eh? I see. Our home base is located in the Middle East, but we don't have any flights there. We should immediately open new routes and gain the number one ranking. I got four IL-96 300s. And I predict that if I try and sell them back to World Lease now, even though I got them on a sale, I will lose money on the deal. This is the whole reason I saved David. To test this as an experiment. Holy crap, I won't! Hold on. Am I sure I'm doing my math right? They are going to offer me 25200 
25,200. I didn't think I was going to cheat, but if they're going to offer me that much extra money, yes, I will absolutely, absolutely cheat. 20,250, right? And that's what I just that's what I just bought them for. 25,200. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, folks. I didn't think I was going to be able to do this. I didn't think I was going to be able to cheat the system. But since I can, I will. Holy cow. That's a deal. That's a deal. I will take that deal. <laughs> wow. Is there anything else I want to sell? No, that's okay. Thank you. Please come again. Okay. You know what? This means that we will have no trouble getting enough money to open the new uh, the uh, London to Los Angeles route. No trouble at all. We'll be able to do that. And um, for right now, I'm going to save that money. All I'm going to do this quarter is... Uh, you know what? I might actually sell some of those slots in Tehran. I'm going to return these. I'll leave it so that I just have five slots left here. Five slots left. Oh, never mind. Six. Oops! Again, I can't do math. Oh, because I have two flights going in. I thought I only had one flight. Never mind. And she's going to be done getting the airport slots, uh, I guess, next month. Or next quarter. This is going to be exciting, folks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, that route to Athens is now completely full, and it's making us more money. The route to Tokyo is as full as it was, and it's still making us money. The route to Tehran is fuller than it used to be. Well, I mean fuller, because it's a smaller plane, and it's making us more money. The route to Oh, this is great, folks. Okay, folks. What I'm going to do is when we get the uh, when we get the route well I mean why bother explaining it to you I will just let it play out and you can observe and I know that you'll be excited observers because I'm actually excited right now I want to see how this is going to turn out Gulf War shows no sign of ending damn just continued amount and oil prices are skyrocketing the Olympics in Barcelona will begin travel here should cons increase considerably indeed All right, our interregional flight numbers are pretty good. The uh, passenger totals in Europe are getting better all the time. Ah, yes. It's an interesting, interesting time here for Bobo Air. It was, I guess 1992 was an interesting enough time for me. I think I was entering middle school right around that time period. Look at that! Ten million! Good job, Bobo Air. We're sneaking up on Siberia. Before long, we may be a more profitable airline than Siberia. Can you even imagine it, folks? Can you imagine? With, you know, your imaginations. Wow, Airmax has a lot of money in reserve, considering they're losing money. I wonder if they, like, did bankruptcy refinancing. Yep, we don't have any flights there, alright. We acquired rights to three slots in Los Angeles. Okay, what's going to happen right now is I'm going to go here to Europe. I am going to, as wild and weird as this seems, I'm going to take one of these flights off. Even though, look at the amount of profit we're making on that one. But it is time to start a new route. A new road to profit. And that road is paved with gold. Because otherwise it wouldn't be profitable. Push select to view the competition. Look at how much money they're making on this. With A300, 600s. Five of them. They're most of the way full, and they're charging that much extra money. I just put one plane on this route. How many flights a week? Just one for right now. That's the fare. Shall we open it? Yes. Let's open this route. Ah, and there's no screeching because it's not the Genesis version, but that's okay. 
Ha. We don't have enough money to buy any more planes to go on that route. But that's okay. It's okay. We are going to start making profits on that route. We're very close to being able to buy another A310, but we can't quite do it. And we're uh, less close to buying an A300-600, but that's the, the plane that they're using, and that's one of the reasons they're managing to carry lots and lots of people and make lots and lots of money. So they're using efficient Airbus airplane, airplanes. Play. I can talk. Yes, I can. All right. So we've got $36 million, which seems like a lot of money for us to just sort of have sitting there in our, you know, jingle jangly pockets. But, um... Okay, folks. It's... It's going to be crunch time. I'm... It's kind of a cliffhanger, I know, to sort of have the, 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 the root ending this way. But I'm actually, I'm kind of hopeful about all this. It, this may cut into our profits since we have a new slot, we have a new city, all that stuff. But um, if we keep just enough profit that we can order another plane to go across that route, we'll be in great shape. We'll be able to start gradually building up enough money that we can, yeah, we can do this, folks. We can. Yes, we can. I'm enthused. And the Gulf War has ended uh, in the Middle East, and peace is returning. Ah. Okay, Th that was kind of to be exp Oh, actually, no, wait. Was that more or less... Was that more or less interregional passengers than we had previously? I wouldn't have been surprised if we had fewer because we've only got that plane can now only make one flight because it's the first for whatever reason the first plane does that. Okay, it only took a tiny little nibble really out of our profit. It'll take us maybe an extra quarter to um, to be able to afford cool new planes for the route, and. Uh, it's just a matter of whether or not we want to wait long enough to get an A300, 600 for that route, or to buy more A310s to do it. Of course, next year there's going to be a whole new Airbus plane that we're going to need to look at and see whether or not that's the right fit. But yeah, folks, I think, maybe, just maybe, again, knocking on wood, we might have turned this whole train wreck of a Tehran airline around. I mean, we clearly haven't yet, but it may be possible from here. You know what I mean? Basically, this is all, of course, based on the very large assumption that MetLink just doesn't decide to sort of steamroll all over the entire rest of the world, or I guess raffle stomp, as some might might call it, as it's called in some parts of, of, of our world. Um... But yeah, we can do this. I think we can, folks. I think I can. I think I can. I am the little engine that could. The little jet turbine engine that could. That's on an Airbus that's soaring across the oceans and continents to land and give us lots of money. Yeah. Believe, folks. Believe. This is Bobo the Vulture. This has been Let's Play Aerobiz Supersonic. And I thank you very much for watching. Bye now.